Hey friends, it's Dr. Dearest. So you might be wondering, where the hell am I today? So I'm at a used tire shop very far into Kanagawa Prefecture, and I had to exchange some money for some coins in this really vintage arcade shop. But the reason that I'm in here is because I need a lot of coins to use the vending machines that I'm about to show you guys. So I've showed a couple of vending machines here in Japan and I managed to find on an old Japanese forum of this place that a lot of locals around here like to go to where at a used tire shop, there is 90 vending machines that are lined up filled with just a whole bunch of different food. Now it's really busy today, so I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can, but most likely I'm just gonna grab some snacks from them and then just eat by the car and give you guys my thoughts on them. Before we get into the vending machines, I just kinda wanna gauge this arcade room that I'm in. So all the vending machines, including this arcade room, are all very, vintage and retro themed. So we actually have like an old styled arm wrestling machine here. And then we also have like a pinball machine and just a lot of really retro games here. And I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling because it is dusty. I need to get out of here because it is not good for my allergies. So without further ado, let's take a tour into what 90 vending machines look like. There are so many vending machines. It just keeps going. So we have this one that gives like microwave popcorn. They have salt barbecue and canned bread. What? Let's see. Oh, I think it needs some time to cook. Come on, come out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is hot. Oh my gosh, wow, that is super, super hot. Look at that, that is some proper microwave popcorn. It's really hot right now. Ah, it's pretty regular popcorn. Uh, I wish I had some butter though. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? This is actually kind of like better than the movie popcorn that we get here in Japan. I'd rather just get stuff like this. Oh man, that's really good. You guys want to try it? Gage, what do you think? Actually, it's a smile on my face. What? It's so good if it's a smile on my face. Oh really? <laughs> Popcorn is good. <laughs> right? The popcorn that we get in the movie theaters is like they, they always put, I don't know, like soy sauce or like caramel in what I, I just want regular salted popcorn. I saw one that sells burgers. I guess it is, it's because it's around lunchtime. So a lot of the locals here like to come for like a nice quick and cheap lunch, but the food's good and it comes out hot and fresh. I didn't expect of a tire shop of all places to have something like this. So it doesn't have, I guess what you could say, modern snacks. It's snacks that are from I want to say gauging maybe the 60s. It's supposed to be regular hamburger and a cheese hamburger, but they both look the same. These images are really old, but it's only 280 yen. And I think this one is already sold out. So we're just going to go for this one. Oh, yay. Ooh, let me get that. Let me get that. Oh, oh wow. That is so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, so this is a hamburger from the hamburger vending machine. It's 290 calories for one. Packaging is very vintage. I just realized that this burger lasts until November. Oh God, that's so hot. <gasps> so this was 280 yen. $2 burger. There you go. Now I'll admit, not the most appetizing burger that I've seen, but I mean, you know, it is $2. So can't be too picky with this. Oh, okay. It has a little bit of sauce. We got a little bit of ketchup. Got a little bit of mustard going on. No pickles, which is the way that I like it. Okay, itadakimasu. Mm. It's okay. It's just okay. I mean, again, it's two dollars. Not a lot of flavor going on. Not the juiciest burger that I've had. If you're really hungry, and if I were working here at the tire shop and I wanted a burger, this this would probably be good enough for me. Unfortunately, there was no more cheeseburger. I feel like this needs cheese. Here, you guys want to try? Yeah, the packaging is like really vintage. I like it. Don't worry, man, you can finish that. What What do you want to get? A machine next to this one with uh, katsu, katsu burger. Yeah, I want to try the katsu burger. Okay, these images are really, really old, but this is supposed to be katsu burger. This is fish burger, we got shrimp burger, and this is chicken burger. Chicken katsu, probably. Mm. Yeah. Katsu? Chicken. Okay. I guess we just have to wait until this red light is done. That's when it's ready. Okay, it's ready. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's the same packaging. Hamburger. Okay, let's go back to the car and try this. Chicken katsu burger, same packaging. Oh my gosh. And this one is 390 calories. Woo! It's fucking hot. 
<laughs> Give me your hand. You can't hold me. I can't hold it, hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look inside. Oh, we've got a little bit of sauce. She's steaming. This looks really good, actually. Got a kimas. Okay. Uh, this one is probably the best one so far. Um, I don't really taste the sauce that much, even though it does look like that there's quite a bit on it. That's so good. That's excited. Yeah. It's good. I, agree. I, agree. I think this is the best one. I think this is the best one that we've had. Okay, we've tried three out of 90 vending machines. Which one do we want to do next? You guys want to try noodles? Oh uh, yeah, look, there's like people that drop their ramen everywhere. See that? Okay, let's hope that I don't do that. And there's also some noodles that are dropped from here. It's only 300 yen. So we're just gonna go for regular ramen because I can't even read what that is. You see it? Oh, it slides out. That's cute. Oh, how am I gonna get this? This is so hard. I see why people drop this. This is very hot. There it is. Proper ramen. Wow, that came out fresh, though. Yeah, I was wondering how this was gonna come out. I thought it would just like. <laughs> All right, vending machine ramen. Don't let me down. I'm literally eating in the back of a car. It's good. It's actually really good. I would say that this is equivalent to just homemade ramen. I guess the only thing that I would add to it is maybe a little bit more salt. There's a lot of flavor in that. That's that's really great. Would anyone like to try um, backseat ramen? What should we do next after this one? There's like some that are like inside that, that black abyss that you guys can see behind me that have like more miscellaneous items that I'll show you guys later. But we're gonna finish the ramen first and see which one we wanna do next. So we just turned around the corner and came into like this more indoor area where there's, guess what? More vending machines, just like this one. With this one, it has like a bunch of like kids toys that you guys can get. And then over here, it's just regular snacks regular snacks. Let's come over here. Oh, there's like really like vintage food cans here. I think this is like strawberry milk. Here's where things get a little bit more miscellaneous. This one comes with like build your own car kits. You can also buy a gun. Of course, a children's toy gun, sad. So I just came across this vending machine. Uh, this one, I'm having a little bit of a hard time making a decision of what to get. Here's my 10 yen. Let's see what we get. Thank you. Then give me that. It sure is taking its time, isn't it? I guess it is heavy, so... What is this? Sakurako? What? Wow, that was surprisingly unexpected to see a Sakurako box in a vending machine because Sakurako just so happens to be the sponsor for this video. My channel is very picky when it comes to subscription boxes and out of everything, I think that Sakurako is personally one that I recommend the most because the snacks that are in the box are very authentic to Japanese culture and tea ceremonies. So it's very good for those of you who want to have a traditional Japanese snacking experience. And each month, you're gonna get a box full of Japanese teas, snacks, and at least one Japanese Japanese kitchenware. Sakurako also helps support local Japanese snack makers who have spent the past hundred years making artisan snacks, so that's a plus. This month's theme is tea time in Yokohama. Sakurako is partnering up with the Kanagawa government and local snack makers to introduce traditional Yokohama delights in a special Yokohama inspired design box. Funny because these vending machines are actually located in Kanagawa prefecture. Unfortunately, there wasn't any authentic tea time snacks that I could find here, but you can find them in your own Sakurako box and use code Aki to get $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description below. You know what I do want though, is to wash this down. Sparkling grape, sparkling orange juice, melon. This is an energy drink and that's tea. 100 yen. Sparkling grape juice. That's really good. And it's pretty hot right now. We're getting into the summer. Kakigori, which is like Japanese snow cones. So they have melon, strawberry, and lemon. But I think the strawberry sold out, which is the one that I wanted. And let's get melon. I'll open this so that you guys can get a bit of a look. Uh, okay, so the ice balls, it's adding the syrup now. More ice. Uh, did the syrup just go past the cup? Oh, no, no, no. It's like spitting out anymore. I think it's done. Melon kakigori. And my friend also got lemon. Oh, uh, yours has like more syrup in it, I feel. Melon kakigori for, what was it, 150 yen? Just traditional kakigori. 
it's it's sweet but not too sweet they put just the perfect amount of syrup mm. so i was wondering how everyone was doing these omikuji my suspicions were right is that it's its own kind of like vending machine so for 100 yen one will just pop out and we'll be able to tell our fortune here at the vending machine city okay what did we get well, that was very fast so this is my omikuji and these are things that are usually found at shrines that you would draw and it would tell you if you have good fortune or bad fortune and then what you would do is that after you read it you would tie it up usually to a shrine but today i guess we'll see if i am blessed by the vending machines if i have good fortune and this is the small blessing and so th this basically was saying that i'm gonna have peace in my life now usually what you would do with these is that if it's bad luck you would tie it and if it's good luck you can keep it and bring it home okay so i am super full after all of that but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this nice little area that i managed to find in japan and if you guys are ever here and you guys want to just try and see something that the locals like to go to then feel free to come to this i guess we'll call it the vending machine city so i appreciate you guys for watching subscribe to my channel for more content and i will see you guys in the next video bye